Professor Sumantra Goshal was a gifted teacher, a prolific author, and a visionary management guru who was to be ISB's founding dean. It was his infectious energy and enthusiasm that encouraged the founding batch to be inspired by the ISB dream. He passed away at the age of 55 in March of 2004. In this special episode of ISB is 20, we pay tribute to Sumantra by revisiting the legendary speech he made at the World Economic Forum in Davos. He describes how a company's context, which he calls the smell of the place, evokes a very different energy and behavior in people. And he asks, how do we create inside a company the vibrant energy of a forest in spring rather than the energy draining heat of a scorching summer? Yeah, I think in these cases, the CEOs do play a very important role, and certainly in the front of the day. What is it about this? This is, I think, one of the best leadership talks I've ever listened to. Eight minutes, uh, recorded at the World Economic Forum. Let's listen to it. Individuals do not change fundamentally who they are without a very serious personal crisis of some kind. But the conclusion, again, for, for us, perhaps, the, the key conclusion is that is a wrong question to ask. Revitalizing people has a lot less to do with changing people and has a lot more to do with changing the context that companies, that senior managers, that people in this room, create around their people. Now, context, uh, some manager called it the smell of the place. It's, it's a hard thing to describe. And then let me try to describe it the best way I experience it, through my sort of personal experience, if you wish. I, I teach at the London Business School. I live in London, have done so for the last year and a half. Before that, I lived in Fontainebleau in France for about eight years. But one look at me, and then one sound of my accent, and you know I do not come from either of these two wonderful places in the world. I come from India, from the eastern part of India. My hometown is the city of Calcutta. So every year I go to Calcutta in the month of July. That's the only time when my children have a summer vacation. Now, Calcutta is a wonderful town in, in winter, autumn, uh, and spring. But, but summer, well, the temperature is 102, 103. Uh, the humidity is about 99%. And I feel very tired. Most of my vacation, I'm tired. I'm indoors. I used to live in Fontainebleau. And this I genuinely challenge you. Go to the forest of Fontainebleau in spring. Go with a firm desire to have a leisurely walk. And you can't. The moment you enter the forest, there is something about the crispness of the air. There is something about the smell of the trees in, in, in spring. You'd want to jump, you'd want to jog, you want to catch a branch, run, do something. And that, I believe, is the essence of the problem. Most companies, particularly large companies, have created downtown Calcutta in summer inside themselves. And and then they complain. They say, you know, you are lazy and you don't take initiative and you don't do, take cooperation. You are not uh, changing the company. The issue is it's not about changing me. I have a lot of energy in, in, in spring in Fontainebleau. And I'm a bit tired uh, in summer in, in, in Calcutta. And, and that's the issue. To change ultimately beyond all these abstractions of strategy, of organization, of processes, at the end, the issue is, how do we change the context? How do we create Fontainebleau Forest inside companies? Now, what's, what's the typical context? Typical may be too strong a word, but what's the context that you find in many companies? Not from the esoteric level, where most of the people in this room sit, but from, from the perspective of, of, of this frontline person, the salesman in Lyon, Top management creates strategy, Chris talked about it, and, and that, how does it come down to this frontline person, to me, the salesman in Lyon? Constraint, it tells me by product, by customer, what I can do, it's a box of constraint. The smell, and then try to relate to that metaphor. Uh, we, we all see it, we enter a place in the first five minutes, you get a smell, you get it in the hum of uh, people, you get it in the quality, the color. The smell is constrained. Compliance. Companies create this elaborate infrastructure of systems, planning systems, budgeting systems, financial systems. All of it boils down by the time it travels down to me. The smell it creates for me is compliance. I got to comply. 
control my relationship not just with my boss but with the entire management infrastructure is one of control it exists to control me and finally contract we repeatedly use the word you know your job is a personal contract relationship with the company is a contract budget is a personal contract transfer price is a contract so constraint compliance control contract that's the smell we create that's what i live in and then we say you know you got to proactively create change you have to take initiative you have to cooperate where are you going to get those behaviors what we found in our research on the other hand is, is a few companies that have created an environment uh, that we describe as cons the, the dimensions of stretch discipline trust and support and then let me take a minute or two to explain them where top management does not create this strategy that boils down as constraints but rather creates an exciting set of values uh, an aggressive ambition all of which create a smell of stretch not stretch we want to be a 100 billion dollar company or anything but stretch in the sense every individual all the time is trying to do more rather than less um not not compliance or all the systems that create compliance not compliance but discipline embedding norms of self discipline and you can see that in companies you can see where day to day behavior is shaped by these embedded norms of self discipline self discipline is yes it's meeting the budget but it's much more it is if a meeting starts at 9 everybody is there at 9 it is if people collectively agree to a decision in a management committee even if individually you disagree you do not start challenging that decision or unraveling it immediately outside in the corridor i mean in intel you see this norm agree or disagree but commit yes people debate people argue but at the end a decision is taken and then agree or disagree but commit self discipline also not control but support the whole role of senior management changes where they are not seen as as the exercises of control but as those who exist with one purpose only which is to help me win by access to resources by coaching by guidance and finally not contract but trust and and trust more than this very contractual sense in which we use the word trust trust in the sense that says if you carry that card i may be in australia and you may be in united states i may have never met you but the fact that you carry the card is good enough for me to let go of the safety of business as usual and and fly knowing that you will be the safe pair of hands at the other end so stretch discipline support trust and and i will i'll invite you don't take those words don't 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 intellectualize those words but try to sense the smell that that can be created if those are the norms of behavior and our research says two things one it is possible to create that smell in companies there are companies and of the companies that were part of our sample 3m is is one example where a management can create the smell and protect it over long periods of time that's assertion one it is possible to do it and protect it assertion two it is also possible for a determined management that has inherited more of the downtown calcutta in summer uh, to convert it to to the fountain blue forest to that new context and and while uh, we we do not know alcoa or piat very well i mean from the discussions we are having this morning some of that has been done in their companies but we have seen others where it has been possible and and the and, and the statement that that we would make is ultimately what's the test of quality of management of a company performance we know is a very noisy measure this to our mind is is a real test of quality of management the context that managers create that shapes the behaviors of people creating the stretch discipline trust and support